Good morning, it's Sunday in Jerusalem, a special day to everyone, for the Jews this time and for the Christians. We are at the northern part of the wall, next to one of the gates that we will enter through it to the old city. But I'm blessing that day for everyone who, watching, who are watching that video, but especially to um, Eileen Evans that's suffering from the disease from cancer and your brother Thomas and his wife Irene are dedicated that amazing video emotional video to you and by doing it they actually bought the Latin cross that I'm holding in my hand. You can see your name here, Eileen uh, Evans, in Hebrew and English, and I will send it to you. Then let's start the tour on Sunday morning. And if you want to have your own cross, and I have different kind of crosses, it's not a problem. Go into the description of that video down there and look for buy me a coffee go to extras and you will see the options that you have and if you won't find it you can all you can uh, uh, ask me send me a message and I will send you the link um, but the most important thing for everyone here please subscribe my channel by that you makes me happy I feel like I have a very big family and and this is amazing this is so good for me and um, then the wall that you see is from 16th century, but the gate is only from the 19th century. Outside the gate, you can see part of the Christian quarter uh, outside the walls of Jerusalem from 1860, and now you can see the light rail. But the Christian had to go all the way uh, around to reach the Christian quarter inside the wall. And they asked the Ottomans to build them uh, a gate, and that was the entrance to the old city. From 1948 until 1967, the inner part, the old city, was occupied by the Jordanians, although it was supposed to be owned by the United Nations. Then the border between Israel, Mosir, Israel, Jordan. Let's go into the Christian quarter, it's Sunday. Most of the places will be closed because of two reasons. First of all, it's early. Secondly, it's Sunday. And thirdly, most of the Christians already flee from uh, uh, Jerusalem, Israel, and, and Palestine. Why? Because it's very difficult to be a minority in your country. Today, we have between one or two percent of Christians in this city. Oh, look at that piano. Look how beautiful it is in the middle of nowhere. Made of concrete, my friends. It's made of concrete, but you can play it. Then let me show you where we are. We are here at the new gate, heading to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre to bless the cross of uh, Eileen. But we will do that through the Christian quarter. Hmm. If we are talking about good food, then I will show you a good, good cakes, I mean pastry. I will show you it soon, but first, this is a beautiful college, a Catholic college, French college, and in that street, they started to open so many beautiful places that you can enjoy in mainly at night time. But Abu Sir Pastory is excellent. It's too early to be open. And it's not by um, a Christian family. It's a Muslim family. Because remember, only a few uh, Christian places are here. You can see here beautiful Armenian Christian uh, shop. They they are well known with their um, um, 
the Armenian art that they are preparing, pottery. And if you're talking about Yerevan, hello Rudy, then uh, not a bad the restaurant, I must say. It's, uh, it's hot, but not so hot as in Tel Aviv. I live in Tel Aviv. I took the train of 6 a.m. And here I am at 7 a.m. Why well, I'm doing it early, early morning? Mainly because I want to be at the Church of the Holy Sepulcher at the time of the Masses. Then uh, that is the best energy that I can actually um, uh, can give to Eileen at the Christian Quarter. It might be all drunk or not. In the Christian Quarter, there are a few different uh, neighborhoods. If you will go, if you will continue straight ahead and then left, it will be the Greek Orthodox neighborhood straight ahead. We will reach the Greek Catholic, but today uh, you ask me for uh, the Latin cross, then usually it's uh, Catholic. Uh, because of Catholic reason, then we are going to uh, San Francisco Road, the Franciscans uh, Catholic neighborhood. That's the dead. Ooh, I thought that I'm going to be the only one. The clock, a group that lives the city now. Like a Catholic group that lives the city. Yes. <laughs> you can see a little bit of the Christmas tree here, though it's not Christmas time. You know what, just let bless Mary here. Oh, ask to Mary, bless us. Amen. And you can see the special cross that you can find in Jerusalem. This is one of the options for me to buy you. And the sun will be in our eyes. And I will try to find a solution for that. Here it is. The first of all, you can see the Vatican uh, flag, the yellow and the white. There are scouts, but to the left of it, you can see yeah, a big cross with four crosses around it. And this is a symbol of being in Jerusalem. Ah, you can see it here too. I hope that the sun is not in your eyes and you can still watch the video. Wait for the church. We will be there in about... Uh, oh, look how beautiful it is. Although it's Greek Orthodox. Look at that beautiful wooden door. ancient picture of the Church of the Holy Sepulcher entrance, and you can see that's uh, Easter time. I'm not sure that it's going to be like that uh, today. I hope that it's not going to be like that, because we must enter uh, the church to bless Eileen. Did you already subscribe my channel? If you want to support me and my channel, well, I do have more than 20,000 videos of the Holy Land, then please um, uh, go to or buy me a coffee or to um, uh, PayPal description, you will find it. Thank you very much. It really helps.
that small that small uh, car is electric car and uh, that's the only car that actually can go through those narrow alleys and I think they are here to clean the floor then let me go there before they will start doing it see that already did it and, uh, I might do it here Church of the Holy Sepulchre is the place that Mary, uh, sorry, Jesus was crucified, um, died, buried, but the most important, resurrected. Um, why it's so important for the Jews? I will tell you it immediately, but first you can see one of the entrances to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, one of the unknown entrances. It's called the Arch of Virgin Mary, and it was sealed by the Muslims um, after the Crusader time. At that time, you cannot use it. Just to show you that the other street, this is the Greek Orthodox Patriarch Street. And I'm trying to run away from the noise of the tractor. The church belongs to the Greek Orthodox, Catholic, Armenians, but the Church of Surya, um, the Church of Egypt, and the Church of Ethiopia has got rights there as well. Then it's different than your churches. Um, See that the street is quite empty now. Mm, the smell of the incense. I love it. You can see three Jews heading to the western wall, and I told you that it's a special day. It's called Tisha Behav, nine or month of Av, and this is a, a kind of a uh, fasting day uh, for 25, uh, 25 hours uh, to memorize the destruction of the Jewish temples. Uh, one of the temple of King Solomon, the other one of King Herod, and some other horrible things that happened on 9 on the month of Hav. For example, the horrible end of, um, of Bar Kokhba revolt in the second century when uh, Caesar Adrian changed the name of Israel to Palestine. And from that moment, uh, we know the word Palestine. Then we are entering to Church of the Holy Sepulchre today, together with you. And it looks like a um, Catholic group. Then it's mm. I will bless that cross in the tomb, of course, uh, inside the tomb, but I won't be able to enter with a with the um, uh, video. Then I will do that at the end of the tour. And this is the facade of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre from the end of 11th century, beginning of 12th century. And we are entering together into the church. Look at the line of, uh, of it. We will enter to the church later on. Well, you can hear the church bells go out. You will hear it better.
I didn't know, I'm not sure that you could hear it from the inner part of the church. Then let's go in. Let's first, you know what, because that, no, I want you to listen to the um, Coptic uh, ceremony and to bless us with it. Because we started from the tomb, let me talk about it while we are listening to them. That's the entrance to the tomb. And I will enter through into it. The tomb includes two parts. The first part that they will get me stand here is the angel uh, chapel I see the candle there that's where the angel took care that no one will steal the body of Christ the inner part is the tomb itself himself is uh, empty and it used to be uh, a cave but it's been destroyed so many times then nothing actually left from that cave sadly they are uh, repairing now the floor I mean not sadly that's good repairing the floor here but I cannot go into the another chapel that I wanted you to see because I wanted you to see that, that there are there, there is um, burial uh, site there from the time of, of Jesus then we cannot do that but we can, this is the closest place that I can bring you now to the tomb of Jesus before we will end, before we enter to the tomb. In front of the tomb, you can see the catilacon, and the sun is in our eyes now. That is the Greek Orthodox Chapel in the church. According to what they believe, the stone there, small stone is the center of the world. You can see one of the domes are here, the small dome, and the big dome is right above the tomb. This is the place that Mary saw Jesus on Sunday, and this is Sunday. That the resurrection. Let me put the cross here. You see how beautiful it is. Did you see my Lord? Did you see my Lord? I am your Lord, but you cannot touch me yet. I didn't reach my father. I'm not pure yet. 
And according to what we believe, that is where Mary Magdalene was standing, and that where Jesus was standing. And let me take the cross of my land and stand in the middle. I won't be able to talk in the Catholic chapel, but to the right of the, the main altar, you will see a stone according to the stone, according to the, what we believe, or what the Catholic believe, is that that's where Jesus was sitting, and uh, the, uh, the Romans mocked him, beat him, laughed at him, put a tone of horn of his, on his head. Let's enter to it, but there must be silent. because I'm taking a video, but at least you got a little bit from uh, from that energy. And the man with the white that you saw is such an important person. This is uh, Yaakov, and Yaakov is um, an amazing guy. He came to here to be with Jesus and to be to live like in Jesus' time is not. Is not Jesus, but Yaakov, it's the name of Jesus' brother. Is that part of the Jerusalem syndrome? I don't know, but he is a nice person. And he lives on top of the roof at the ninth station of the Via Dolorosa. And, um, and um, uh, on a mattress, that's it. He's got nothing else beside the mattress. Then, that stone is where they anointed the body of Jesus. And that is the most important place for me to put the cross on it, to bless it. Uh, we already been at the resurrection. We saw the tomb of Jesus, which used to be like that, and I couldn't enter to show you uh, a tomb from the first century, uh, mainly because they are renovating the floor of the church. We saw the anointing stone, which is right here. And that's the Golgotha, the Calvary. Let's climb up to visit it. But before that, Golgotha in Hebrew is, um, and in Aramite, it's Cal, Calvary in English. And uh, we don't know uh, that place beside that. The New Testament it wasn't written in any other uh, outside source. Then we believe that it was outside the walls. I'm oh, no, sorry. The Bible told us that it was outside the wall, but that place that we are visiting now used to be a quarry of King Herod. Then in that case, a quarry it's always outside the wall. You can see the walls of the city right there. You can see it, Irene, Eileen, and. Um, 
Joseph of Arimathea, the one with the beard, the white beard, gave Jesus an antum, which we already saw, but before that he asked Pontius Pilate to get the body of Jesus and to bury it at the same day, because this is their Jewish customs. Then let's climb up from the Catholic part of the Golgotha. It's, um, today it's, um, the Golgotha belongs to the Catholic and the Greek Orthodox. Then we will enter through the Catholic part and we will go out through the Greek Orthodox. Oh, there's a ceremony. Catholic ceremony at the Catholic part. Then let's take a video of it for you. That was a surprise for me. Then I ask why, why it was here. Because usually it's not here. It's not a special day, but it's beautiful to see it. This is the tomb. Oh, sorry, the crucifixion. Let me talk there. Um, the Catholic uh, Mass now is in the place that they um, um, cr um, nail Jesus into the cross. To the left, you could see uh, Mary, an image of Mary with a spear in her heart. That's symbolized uh, um, Pieta, Mary holding the dead body of her son. But at the Greek Orthodox part, which is here, you can see the crucifixion place. And now let me go into the exact spot of the crucifixion to bless the cross.
was so lucky. This is the first time that I saw a Catholic mass next to the crucifixion place. And I'm so happy for you, because for me it's a huge sign for your health. And please, everyone, bless Eileen by writing something. Eileen Evans, but writing something in the, the comments. I know. And uh, let's cure her. We are with our our faith. Let's help her to be stronger and happier. And I must say, um, thank you for everyone, and especially uh, thank you to um, Irene. Um, Eileen brother Thomas and Irene Evans for doing everything to help Eileen. Then, uh, dear friends, let's bless.